up guys, I am Tort, and I just made a video of these pickups I got today at the thrift shop. Woo! Um, but this video is going to be a separate thing. This video is going to show you what type of tags, what to look for when looking for vintage clothes at the thrift shop, at garage sales, yard sales, flea markets, anything like that. This is my best find yet of the bulk of what I got and different variety of tags and stuff to show you. So I'm super excited to give you this information and if this helped you out at all, comment down below, subscribe, thumb it up, let me know what you think. But we're going to get right into this real quick. So this is my lot of shirts I found today. I'm going to make this video hopefully kind of quick, but I just want to show you the different tags. I have a sh ton of variety of tags and different things that you can tell if shirts are vintage, all right? So first one we're going to go to, if you guys didn't see my video of this pickups of these pickups, just go look. This is a Long Beach uh, custom chopper shirt. It has the same logo on the side, on the sleeves here, on both sleeves, LBC. And on the back, it has a giant cross and Long Beach choppers. So I've seen, like I said in my last video, other shirts like this go on Grail for like $50. I don't think this one's going to be worth that much, but still, it's more than, it's way more worth than what I paid for it, which is like two bucks, two ninety nine. dollars Here's the tag. If you guys see Delta Pro Weight tags that look like this, red circle, blue lettering, most likely it's vintage. What I like to see too is tags that say, if it's going to focus, um, 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 right there, knit in the USA, right here below 100% cotton, knit in USA, assembled in Honduras. If you guys see shirts that say that, you guys basically want to cop it if you can get it for less than like $4. Most vintage shirts will say made in the USA. Anything made in the USA that has a good logo on it is worth some money. Honestly, if you guys ever see Delta Pro Weight, send me a picture. Let me know. Uh, Tour Finds, DM me. I'll let you know if it's worth something. Uh, but there you go. Delta Pro Weight, that is a good tag to look out for. Second shirt. This is an early 2000s, 2004 this kind of reminded me of a NASCAR shirt, which I collect NASCAR shirts. Steve Johnson, uh, motorcycle, stock Suzuki champion shirt. I thought this was really cool. A lot of good colors, but I really like the snap on stuff on his motorcycle. And then it does say 2004 champ, June 24, 2004. So this is obviously in the early 2000s. I really don't like seeing Gildan, but when you see the heavy cotton tag, and the colors like that, this shows you it's a little older. So 2004, I don't think technically this is vintage, even though it's 16 years old. But I'm going to rock this. Honestly, I think it's really cool. A little dirty here. You can probably get that out. Um, but honestly, just a clean clean t-shirt on the back. It just has, you know, all his races, his lights, you know, stuff like that. That's pretty cool. Next, I have this... Religious shirt, which this does go for money. I've seen 90s vintage, 80s, even 80s religious stuff go for money. I know this is old just because this tag. I've never seen this tag before, guys. If you ever see this tag, pick it up. This is a Murina. Marina. If this is going to focus, please focus. Oh, my God. Marina pre-shrunk 100% cotton made in the USA. This tag is old. 100%. It tells you on the back how to wash it. Uh, don't bleach. Wash warm with colors. Non-chlorine. Bleach. You know. All that stuff. This is super vintage. This is definitely 90s. 100% based on the tag. The feel of the shirt. I can just 100% tell it's vintage. And also when you guys see... My shirts are falling. Hold on. When you guys see stuff like this... You always want to find the little lettering on the shirt. Because little copyright stuff, sometimes it'll say the year. This doesn't say it, but it'll give you more information to look up. And I did see shirts like this go for about 20 bucks. So Caruso Activewear. You want to see stuff like that when you look for vintage shirts. So 100% vintage, made in the USA. Religious stuff, worth a little bit of money, especially when you pay a dollar for it. Now... This is one of my favorite things I found today. Salem Sportswear. These tags are 
flames. If you guys ever see stuff like this, made in the USA, Salem Sportswear, size large, 100% cotton. You guys want to find tags like this. This is an Atlanta Braves size large t-shirt with stitching inside the arms. You got like a double collar here stitched. Both arms are stitched. It's so nasty. And also, like I said, you want to see that. And then also, this is the best. MLB 1992. The shirt was literally made the year I was born. Salem, such a cool company. Another patch right there. If you guys ever find Salem, buy it. I'm not I'm saying buy it. Like I just bought an Eagle shirt from a vintage shop for $25 and I paid $2.99 for this. So I'll make a $20 profit on this, if not more. Boom. Another awesome, awesome vintage sports shirt. I did, oh my god, you actually can see it really well in this. You want to see stuff like this in the little Team Haynes. MLB 1993. This shirt is from 93 Chicago White Sox vintage logo. This thing is awesome. And here's another tag you guys want to find. This is a vintage 90s Hanes heavyweight tag. If you ever see this, take a picture, send it to me, or look it up because it'll probably be worth some money. Vintage Hanes, boys. Vintage Hanes. Next two are uh, nothing real special, I don't think. This is a band tee, Pink Floyd in a black and purple tie-dye. The tag was kind of ripped up, but I saw it had Delta Pro weight. And every time, anytime you see Delta Pro weight, you want to look, uh, look into it. At least Google it while you're at the thrift shop or wherever you are. Look, look it up because it could be worth some money. This one's destroyed, so I can't see if it says uh, knit in the USA and assembled in Honduras or anything. It does say Honduras right there. But it doesn't say where the material is. So I'm guessing it's the same as the other Delta, even though the tags are, it's probably looks a little newer, honestly. But band t-shirts go for money now. I don't know why they're so popular. But this one's really cool. And if it was my size, I'd probably wear it because I don't have any tie-dye shirts. But I can't find a year or anything on this. So nothing real small anywhere. I'll probably have to just Google it and see if I can find another one just like it. But once again, Delta Pro Weight. You guys want to look for those tags. I'm sorry for the focusing, the camera really, this camera sucks at focusing. Delta Pro weight guys, look, look it up. Last, last shirt I copped today, which I, I liked it, honestly, like it's, this reminds me of me because I love starting stuff and not finishing things. I get hooked on the different hobbies and I fall in love with them real fast and then I just lose my love and interest super quick. This shirt speaks to me. King of unfinished projects. This is a vintage 90s, just like screen print shirt. This is something you'd see in the 90s. And I actually looked this up because small print, small print. You always want to look for the small print. Uh, there it is. Peacock Papers copyright. All I did when I was at the thrift shop, I said, oh my God, vintage Fruit of the Loom. Look, heavy cotton. That's a vintage Fruit of the Loom tag. And I don't think it says, what does it say? Does it say Made in the USA? Oh, it does say Made in the USA. I don't think I even knew that when I bought it. Down below, Made in USA, right above my thumb, second to last line. Made in USA, this is vintage Fruit of the Loom Heavy Cotton. Boom. All I did was type in vintage 90s Peacock Papers. T-shirt, King of Unfinished Projects, Google it, boom, came right up, saw it sold for 20 to 25 bucks. I might keep this because this legit speaks to me, but the quality of this heavy cotton, guys, you guys can just feel, like when you touch a vintage shirt, it feels so much different than shirts today. All these shirts just feel like they're quality, they're thick, they're nice, they just feel like good shirts. This is what you guys wanna look for when you're thrifting. This is a 10 minute video showing you different tags all these different tags you want to find when you're thrifting. Salem, Gildan, Old Gildan, Fruit of the Loom, a Pro Delta Pro Weight. You guys want to look for all these tags. Like, it's so different. Even this one. Like, I've never heard of this brand before in my life. But guess what? Definitely worth some money. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. I'm going to take this camera off my neck. Whew. Thank you so much for watching. I am Tort. Go down and follow my Instagram, at Tort Finds. I'm going to be posting all of these all of these shirts on there. And there's a thing I thrifted too in my Heineken frame. Let me know if this video helped you. Comment down below 
If you guys find anything while you're out, you can DM me on my Instagram and I will get back to you ASAP. I'm always on my phone, always sourcing, always doing stuff. Thank you so much for watching. At Tort Finds, subscribe if you liked it, comment down below, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!